Alright, welcome back to Adobe Dreamweaver CC. In this tutorial, we're going to cover some validation and a little bit more tricks in terms of working in the code view here in Dreamweaver. So, uh, right now, as I look in here in the split view, it doesn't seem like anything is apparently wrong with this document. Uh, if I go to the code view here, there are a few things that are wrong. And um, one way, if you are not aware, because I actually made these errors, uh, you can uh, try and validate your document and test it out. So how do you go about this? Well, first off, what you want to do is go to the um, file movie menu and go down to validate and choose the current document, which is the WC3. It'll open up this little window here and it will ask you to send through the WC3 service for validation. What is WC3? Or W3C is basically uh, standards compliance for uh, web and uh, the w3schools.com is a great site for additional references in coding and so forth. So uh, great site to check out if you haven't done it. But go ahead and click OK and then it will start the validation process and go through and check at you know eight errors, two warnings and zero hidden here. So there's some issues here, and uh, this validation window, we can dock somewhere here. Maybe I'll dock it down the output here. Um, but uh, let's see here. Let's see what's going on here. So this one, it says empty ending for on line 11. And if we look here on line 11, this is the issue here, is that uh, each of these, the H2 tags, don't have the uh, forward slash in each of these. Instead of having to go through each one of these, what you can do is you can hold the control key uh, and actually click on multiple areas, which is one thing that's very cool in here, and then just add the forward slash. So I did that with all three of those at the same time, and then click out. There's also the issue here of right here, and again, I know this because I did this with these, but um, again, I'm going to hold the control key to set these up, but that needs a, a 2 for the H2. And now, if you look, these are pair tags now. So that solves that area there. Uh, line two, there's an error here that's more of a, um, a comment here about consider adding the English language uh, because it appears that this is written in English. Uh, and that's a good idea. Uh, let's see, nine eleven, uh, line nine, let's see what's going on. Oh, and those other ones are the ones I just corrected. All the other errors here and those are previous errors so uh, what we can do uh, we can click on the reports and do it again we can um, apply more info for that one line there and it tells you here this document appears to be written in English consider adding language in uh, the variant in the HTML start tag and you know here it is here and so I'll do that might as well it's a good idea to have that. It's basically right after HTML here. I actually had it on the page here, uh, which is the language attribute here. So uh, what I'm going to do is right after here, uh, tap spacebar, and then you'll notice that code hinting is really great in um, Dreamweaver. So I'm going to try to click on language. Again, it adds the, uh, the equal and and quote. And so now I can just type in EN for English and pretty much we have it now. There it is. So we've got now that same tag, which is this one right here. All right, so it works out pretty well. So that's uh, pretty much the ones I have here. If I did another report, click OK. You can see it cleared out. There's pretty much zero warning, zero error, zero hidden at this point, uh, meaning that the code is all good. So that's one way to, uh, a really good idea is to validate your code. And remember, while you're working with code, there's lots of code hinting that happens. And then again, if you need to do multiple areas at the same time, click wherever you want, and then hold the control key. And you can get the same cursor in however many times you want. You got three, four, five, six. And that's a very cool uh, feature in Dreamweaver CC. Until next time, see you soon. Cheers.